Hi there. Did you know that when a zebra finch, when a zebra finch lays five eggs, it will have completely used up all the calcium in its body? One little bird to lay five eggs uses up all its calcium. Not every bird does that, but the finch does, and what that means is it's got to be taking in calcium all the time. Look, as a veterinarian, probably after feather plucking, calcium deficiency is the next most common thing I see. We've known birds required calcium since the 1890s. Why in heaven's name are we still talking about giving calcium to birds? The reason? Because it's that important. It's a must. You've got to get calcium into your birds. Now, calcium physiology, how it works, really complex. We're not going to do that. Right? We're not going there. But it's really complex. What I want to tell you today, very quickly, what you need to know. What do you need to know? You need to know that seed is low in calcium. There isn't a seed that's high in calcium. Okay, ordinary seed will be okay for a bird that's sitting in a cage doing nothing. It is not okay for growing birds or hen birds laying eggs. It is not okay. The other thing you need to know, birds require a regular intake of calcium. The hen bird, for instance, uses its bones as a calcium store. So as it goes along, it sucks calcium into the bones. When it comes to that egg laying time, lets it back out again. Has an amazing ability to move it in and move it out. What we need to be doing in the off season is moving calcium in, let it suck the calcium out through the laying season, and then put it back in again. In young birds, no, they're just sucking calcium in like you wouldn't believe. And we need to get it in there. Okay, so they need a regular intake of calcium. My advice to all my bird clients for the last 30 years has been, give some calcium, some calcium, all the time. Give a bit every day. Don't sweat it about how much, how often, just to make sure in your normal routine they get some. And some will work over time. Now, a whole range of things you can use to supply that some. You can use calcimet, which is a liquid, goes in the water. You can use denutrical, which is a powder that we sprinkle over, soaked seed. You do not put, do not put denutrical in the water. You add a fortified grit to the diet. So true grits are classic. It's fortified with vitamins and minerals. So by supplying it in an open bowl, the birds not only get calcium from the grit, but they also get some other vitamins and minerals. Or we can go to a completely formulated diet, such as these NutriBlend pellets here. But all pellets, all commercial pellets, have adequate amounts of calcium. We can also, on top of that, Use cuttlefish bone. Hey, I'll stand by. Everybody uses cuttlefish bone. My issue with it, I'm not sure how much birds actually swallow of it. I did some tests some years ago, and we found, in fact, in cockatiels, the vast majority of the cuttlefish was just chewed and dropped on the ground. So I worry a bit about cuttlefish. In your bigger parrots, I'm a firm believer in adding chicken or beef bones to their diet. Parrots, in general, are not just granivores. They'll eat a bit of everything. And getting chicken and beef bones in is another way, is another way of adding some calcium to the diet. Most of our fractures, as in leg fractures in young birds, are due to the chick being calcium deficient. A lot of, not all, a lot of your egg binding in your adult hen birds is due to inadequate calcium levels. And we see a whole heap of other syndromes where things are just not right. Easy way around it, give some calcium all the time and you should get on top of it. Next time I talk to you, we're going to explore a little further 
the egg binding syndrome and how we can help that. Bye for now.